And I'm going deep with it, right? I'm going deep with it in here and here. And these are large flakes. You can see that, right? I'm going to create my rub, and I'm going to use a good half of that. Not even half. That wasn't even half. Don't even play. Uh, and I might even go in with some more. And then I'm going to go in with some mustard. Notice I ain't wasting none of it. It ain't all over the counter. I ain't going to leave none on the cutting board. It's all going to be in the bowl. I'm just trying to give y'all a hack. Right? It's a hat. I'm going there with a little mustard. What that mustard going to do? It's going to tenderize. What's in the mustard, you know? What's the, what did I just put on there? Did I put mustard on there? Or did I just add some vinegar, some water, some mustard seed, some salt, some turmeric, and some paprika? That's what I put in there. All that in there on the back of this from reading my ingredients, right? What's in there right now? Let me see. Okay, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you what's in there. Some brown sugar is in there. Uh, some red peppers in there, oh, some molasses in there, and all the garlic is in there, red bell pepper, uh, and again, more paprika. That's what's in there, and you know what's in here, and that's what's in there. And then I'm going to put in there with that, I'm going to get my, find my other oil. I'm going to drop a little bit of, and I keep forgetting my wine. I gotta, I, I'm, I'm gonna have to get some wine when I'm out today. The Fred Sanford just come on. Yeah, Fred Sanford just came on. I'm gonna get, oh my little thing got, you pour me a little bit of, pour me a little bit of oil in here right quick. This, this canister is too big. They got a huge one over here. And I'm just gonna use, again, I just want this oil just to help everything stick on there. And then too, when I, when I put it in the, um, when I put it on the pan, and that's gonna give me, I'm trying to think, do I need anything else? Do I need anything else? Do I need anything else? Look at that, look at that. Oh yeah, I might need a little more. I might need a little more. Maybe a little more mustard. And see, I can feel it. I can feel that rub. And again, I'm doing it in the pan so that I don't lose none of it. And it's going to all end up on the meat. It's going to all end up on the grill. I'm going to grill in the oven. I'm going to grill in the oven. It's going to come out beautiful. Molasses brown. The skin's going to have... Oh, it's going to be so good. This is going to come. I'm going to cook it low and slow as my uh, barbecue man always talk about. And then look. There we go. And that's going to go in there. And that's going to go in there. Right? And then we're going to just give it a couple of, a couple of tosses in there. I think, you know what? I think I'm going to go a little bit on the top with my oil in. I think I'm going let to that, let that hang out on the bottom. I'm going to do a little bit on the top. So I'm going to come back again with a little bit more oil on top of that. I'm going to come back again with a little bit more mustard on top of that. Oh, that's a mess going on there. I'm going to have to clean my board. I'm going to um, go on there with a little bit more mustard on top of that and I'm going to go in there with a little bit season on top of there because it's otherwise it's gonna it's gonna fight it's gonna be a fight right and again that's just a marinade y'all i'm not when i get ready to cook it you know it's gonna be is that is that a cloud that went got dark over let's see if i can get the top on it if i can get the top on there get in there get in there Ugh, i got to fight get in there get in there get your butt in there Oh my goodness, I might need to do a little another cut. Let me see if I can cut down, to cut that side down a little bit. And uh, can I, do I need to split that? Let's see if we can split this down a little bit more. Where is it, where's that joint? Look at that knife, ooh, honey. Look at that knife by you. Ha, be more careful. Go ahead. This is my Mother's Day gift from my son. My knife. And I was, it was so funny because when he gave it to me, I was like, son, I don't cut nothing but lemons. I don't cut nothing but vegetables. Here I am carving up that going pork rib. All right, so here we go. My question was, where's the beef? Because we could barely, y'all, only thing I ordered, I ordered a pack of chicken, I ordered a pack of ground beef. All that was gone. I ordered, I think I probably ordered about four, four different meats. And I started getting notifications, the stories out of this, stories out of that. And uh, and I ordered first thing. I ordered like for the first delivery. 
So, man, that means that they didn't get a chance to even uh, restock like they normally would have. And they're usually pretty good with it. I'm trying to get that top on there. Now, I think we can give it a look. Oh, it ain't going to shake. It ain't going nowhere. It's too much meat. It's too much meat. So, let me get my little brush. I'm going to get my brush. It shook up a little bit. Let me get my brush here. And we'll just nurture it on a little bit. We'll just nurture, 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 nurture it on a little bit. But I am going to be able to get the top on there a little bit so it can go in the fridge and uh, and do its doggone thing. And I told y'all, I have gone from cooking like this on a Sunday. Don't think I, I didn't cook like this yesterday. Uh, and got a chance to visit with my dad. My dad came by yesterday. Uh, we just basically went into the leftovers. You notice I cook like this. I had plenty of leftovers, right? So I had those leftovers yesterday, and I just took all the leftovers and made us a nice little Sunday dinner because 